Okay, let me go, go, go back briefly to your notoriety on Twitter. So notorious that you've had a couple of counts close. So you're back again as, a, as the icy persona. On a previous one, you put up an extremely popular thread, which I thoroughly enjoyed reading. I think I saw it the first time, and I've, and I've read it again now. The 100 Tips for Punters. So what I've done is I've picked out a few that caught my eye. It's and a good thread, that. Do you, mind, do you mind if I go through and then we'll just, um, yeah, you can explain a bit more. Yeah, sure so first of all, owners are like lambs to the slaughter. Yeah, that, that, comes, from a, that comes from a good story from a, a, just at a, a guy I work from, a, work for it in Labrox. I, I, I won't mention his name, he won't want it mentioned, but uh, if anyone wants to guess, he used, he used to write a brilliant article in, a, in the Irish field called Ringtones, but he... Uh, he used to just tell me this story that like this owner goes on onto the course and goes up to the pitch and has a bet in his own horse and the clerk kind of says to him, you know, that's his horse, are you not going to cut it? And he says, no, sure, he's, he fell in a, in, a, in a scooting race the other day, sure, he doesn't know that. So that's, that's where that comes from, it's just like they're, they're, they're lambs to the slaughter. Okay, multiples. Most people think they're mug bets, but you say they're weapons of mass destruction. Yeah, that's, that's absolutely fact. I mean, if, if you want to get to the next level punting, I mean, you're, 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 you're most likely going to do it um, through multiples. Um, so, like, my, my advice to punters would be, if you're, if, you're, if you're having 100 quid on a Saturday, well, at least have 20 quid of it as, as, a, as a multiple, you know, or, or, you know, 30 quid, a 2 quid lucky 15, or, you know, 2 one euro, one euro lucky 15s or something like that. Um, just, just give yourself a chance of a big return because um, it's nothing worse than, we'll say, having, you know, 5, 20 quid, uh, bets on a Saturday, five winners, and yeah, you know, what 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 have you won after? Whereas mm. if you stick them in a multi, well, you you you, you know, got the price of a holiday. So are the good multiples and bad multiples? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is. I mean, I would say like, I would say at the moment, um, win lucky fifteens, double the odds, one winner, uh, best odds guaranteed, is best, um, worst. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it it depends. It depends what you're betting on. Okay, now, not betting in bumpers is shorthand for shit networking. Who do you listen to about exposed horses? Uh, sorry. So who do you listen to about exposed horses if owners are lambs of the slaughter? Because jockeys are no good as tipsters, are they? Can, you, can you repeat the last part? Yeah, so, so you, this is one that I've made a bit of a garbage of that. But So you said that not betting in bumpers is shorthand for being shit at networking. Yeah. So then my question is, so... Who do you listen to about the unexposed horses? If horses are lambs to the slaughter, and it's fairly oh, well known yeah, okay, that, okay. that jockeys can't tip for toffee, so it, where what where would you get reliable info about horses running? Well, in the well, like there, there, like there will be people in yards that will that will know, and I mean it's up to you then. Like you, you'll you'll gauge it over experience. I mean, who who knows what? But I mean, you can you can get you can get a good card um, for for bumpers, maidens, or that. I mean it. I mean, look, it, it, it depends. I mean, it really depends. I mean, I'm not talking about willies in the bumper here. I mean, there, there are, but there are some yards where you can say, okay, this thing, this thing is a six to four shot, but yeah, it's probably, a, you know, I wouldn't want to lay a six to four. I mean, I'm talking about that type of horse, like front of the market. Um, and it, over the years, we'll say the last couple of years, Bedford just seems, the exchange seems to want to lay these horses, even though they are, they are fancied, um, all the right vibes are there, but the, the machine just can't seem to help wanting to, uh, look, 2.2 let's just lay it out and they, they they can end up being bets but i mean you know you're, you're not talking about um having 100 bets a year on these i mean i'm talking about maybe maybe 10 15 bets or maybe even less yeah interesting to talk just the on an aside there about the machine do you think the machine money has become less sharp yes um it, it, like it, it just has to i mean it, it just has to have it, um like i think i think the figure is that the bsp is something like 97 percent accurate now or 97 and a half percent accurate or whatever um but i mean you know there's so much there's so much dark money out there now dark pools people betting in the indian exchanges people betting into private layers so is this money being reflected in the exchange because if it's not like the b the bsp is going to be out so somewhat and you did i did uh, read a th thread you put up the other day there's a massive load of um big big price winners 125 to one shots and you wrote nobody knows anymore yeah, I, but to be fair, uh, to be fair, that that was explained. It's it's that was just simply because um, the bookmakers have changed how they distribute the margin, so they're they're returning the bigger prices closer to the, the BSP, whereas before they would have been way way below them. So so that was actually that was actually pretty a pretty easy one to solve actually. Right now, 
this is another one that probably be not controversial but people may disagree with try not to look for each way bets now the each way value is what a lot of people seek yes yeah, it's, it's just it's so like it's sort of, there's even sort of like there's some punters i know and like 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 i respect them and everything but they just they just can't help themselves starting every day what's the five place race what's the four place race and i just i just wonder at times you know would they be would they be better served looking looking elsewhere because because they've gone to a 50 odds and because the bookmakers now price these races knowing that they're offering an extra place whereas let's go back um let's say 2016 2017 they were pricing these races with the extra place as a concession so it was it was a concession on top of their prices so if something was 20.0 on the machine they might be 16s or 14s now they're now they're 12 to 1 or 11 to 1 that horse and you're getting a fifth so yeah i'm sure i'm sure you can find one trading under on the place uh, market on bedfair but like my, my opinion is who cares and that would explain why one of the firms you've got a job to bet in a race it's not got extra obviously extra places these days they must be making them money well it, well well it, well it entices punters in. i mean it's good it's good it's good for punters i mean i, I i'm not a i'm not against it but i just i just think is i mean if you want to make money punting i mean if that's if that's your only angle you're, you're, you're going to struggle now <laughs> this was something like i don't know where to put this one of the things that you wrote was um well, I've written here. Do you really put people away when they think you're, they're poncing off you? So when they they take 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 and they'll give give give, do you actually give them bum steers? Would you really do that? Uh, no, I, 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 I don't. I don't. I don't. I actually don't have that in me. No, no, <laughs> no. I wouldn't. I would. I mean, I might. I might just ignore someone or, or just delete their number or block them or something. But no, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't put them away. So I, I did it. I did it once. To be fair, I did. I did do it once. <laughs> I'll admit to doing it once. Uh, yeah, I did it once with a, a maiden in Dundalk, and I. I had like I, at that time I had like a WhatsApp group and I had lads putting on for me and and um, I put them away the night before just to tr just to make sure that uh just to make sure that the price was there but I I, I needn't have bothered uh, it wouldn't have made a difference but I think I think the horse was third anyway so no one lost any money it was alright so if people get a WhatsApp request from you they they not need be wary or um no 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 absolutely not absolutely <laughs> not now what have you got against spreadsheets well it, it's just they're like they're so time consuming so. You can spend all day putting information into spreadsheets, you know. And uh, like when when I say spreadsheets, I'm I'm mostly talking about people that keep betting records. Like people are, oh, you have to keep records. Like you either know if you're winning or you or you don't. So if you're going to spend three hours a day or three hours a week or whatever, putting all your bets in and oh look nice fonts and all this and all it's lovely and look at this I'm winning so much and oh look at my ROI isn't it great? But, I mean, what does it matter? I mean, all that matters is. How much money is in your bank account? That's that's literally all that matters. Or how much liquid cash do you have? If, I mean, if you want, if you actually want to bet seriously, and 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 uh, and have no other income, all that matters is is liquid cash. Nothing else matters. Okay. So how many contacts would you have that you listen to? Uh, God, I, like there's, there's, a, there's I mean there's, there's there's a few, but I mean, you know, some are like four bets a year, some are, you know, four bets a week. I mean, it it just it depends. I'd, like I'd, I'd have I'd have a, I'd have a good few, but. Um, you know, guys, guys go hot, guys go cold. So, um, relationships can just run out, or you can think this is the best thing ever. I mean, it's it's not, it's never, a, it's never a fixed number. But how, I mean, my point being, how do you know where you are? How do you know when they're running hot and cold? If you've got a lot of contacts, wouldn't it be better to have it all on the spreadsheet so you think, well, he's having a bad run, but he's still exhumating. Right, front. but then, but then you could get you could get rid of a guy just because he's having the lean spell. Yeah. And, like. Then, then, then you're gonna miss the six months where he hits like twenty two percent or something like that. It's um, I mean, I get your, I get your point, but um, just so putting on a business footing. If you are doing it as a business, you need to know, you know, because you th might think that somebody's winning when they're not. Yeah, but you're gonna you're gonna know. No, no. I, look, I, t I take your point that obviously, I, of course, if you put it on a spreadsheet and you can analyze it, yeah, you might get some benefit for it. But how much time are you wasting when you could be doing other things? Like finding bets, getting bets on, uh, getting other contacts. I mean, finding other stuff to bet on, when you're just over analysing, uh, what what you're doing. I mean, it, it look it's 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 up to the individual. But I just I just think um I just think it, it can be it can be a big waste of time. Okay, now this one made me laugh. Um, not not at you, but with you, telling people you bet is like telling people you're a drug dealer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's exactly. <laughs> so what sort of people would be like? Oh my God, he bets. Um, 
<laughs> well, like like taxi drivers are the worst. They're like they're, they're like they are the worst. I mean, sit into a taxi and tell them you bet for a living, and oh my god, they'll they'll nearly take you around the long way, uh, <laughs> to, to to have a chat with you. So, so that was it. But I, uh, on the, on the drug dealer one, you just you just reminded me of a story. I was in a bar and uh, I was in a bar and uh, this guy says, uh, so what do you do? You 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 he goes, oh, you work in a book. He's right. And he goes, you bet yourself. And I just said, well, I mean, what do you think? I mean, have you ever heard of a drug dealer that doesn't sample his own? his own product and I just got a kick under the table so that will <laughs> that will tell you what your man did for a living anyway um, and sporadic self-doubt now you seem like a very confident person do you actually get that and if you do how do you deal with it oh, you, like like literally like like every few months if you have a bad run or anything or you have a bad like not, not, not a bad day but if, you, if you're going on a bad run yeah you do start to kind of question like is it gone like like can I still win um, is this still working? Is that still working? Do I need to get rid of this guy? Do I need to change? You know, you 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 you, st- you start to question everything, and like that's that's why like like a spreadsheet. I don't I don't see how a spreadsheet is gonna is gonna help out. You kind of e- you either need to know or you or you don't know. But uh, yeah, I mean like like uh, like next year. I mean I'm sure I'll start next year and go well. Okay, well how am I gonna win this year? Because I mean we'll say this summer was a disaster. So you're kind of thinking okay, well how am I, how can I set myself up into this summer to put myself in a position where it's not a disaster you know so I, I think you have to have that doubt though yeah you have to have it I mean if you're okay right if, if I if I go on a good run okay the chest is out you know I'm walking around like like a with a god complex which which which, which sometimes happen but then the opposite will happen where you, you like I've had three four five losing months in a row and uh, well what, what, what do you do then you know so, mm. so of course you're going to doubt yourself so you said you've, you've you know you've been doing it what you consider a relatively short period of time. It's quite a long losing run. I mean, you must have a fair bit of self belief there to be able to go four or five months. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 like it's bordering on insanity sometimes when you're when 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 it goes when it goes that badly. But you know, at the back of your, your mind, you're just like, yeah, look, I I'll, I'll turn this around. I will turn it around. And um, yeah, that 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 does help. Okay, and finally, on for this part, you um you, you got your contacts. So what you say you don't study for when you're not a like a, a expert in anything. So, what is their return from you? The people that give you the good marks. Well, well, you you always like you always try and have it. It, it you have, there has to be some balance in in the relationship. So, we'll we'll say the guy that uh, that I'm doing the racing with. Well, I, I get his bets on, and you know I I he's got he's got issues with like pulling the trigger. So you're trying to help him. You're trying to help him be a better punter. So he he's 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 gaining. I'm gaining. That's a good relationship. Uh, with, with other guys then it can be a bit harder because well maybe I don't maybe I don't have enough to offer them so I mean guys like that you just just try and do them a favour if they ask you for a favour you just do it or I mean you just you, you have to you, but you have to have a balance because if you're if you're on the take all the time well they're just they're just going to cut you off or they're going to put you away so yeah, if they've read your 100 commandments they might do yeah yeah definitely <laughs> yeah. I, I've definitely been put away over the years like 100% like. 